Okay, um, and so that's one issue. I could go on with that, but that's one issue. Okay, the other hypocrisy of the black man. Um, I, I, I had to write down a few things. Um, okay, let, let me try to get to this one because I'm going to have to really, you know, it, <laughs> Hopefully I can explain this good and well within a few seconds. Okay. This this other issue that I have, I hear black men talking about the type of thug man that the black woman usually wants. Now, let, let me explain the hypocrisy behind that. Because look at the black community just as a whole. Okay, you don't really find too many uh, guys just who are kind of not in that what you want to say thug type mentality because of the fact they don't want to be labeled thug. They, I mean, uh, they don't want to be labeled a nerd. They don't want to be labeled uh, anything beside being cool. So you have that persona all over the black community. So let's just kind of get that straight. It's not like uh, you got black women just going out just looking for thugs. Now, some of them do. The ones who we know are like that, I'm not talking about those women. I'm talking about the rest of us, you know, because I, I was raised in the inner city, so I, I understand a lot of stuff. Okay, so every black woman wants a thug. Okay, that is the persona that is out there. Okay, let me, let me tell you something that I know to be true. You have so many black men whose mentality is help a brother out. A sister don't want to help a brother out. Okay. The hypocrisy with that is that let's say you got, let's say you have a black woman. She's gone to school. She goes to work every day. Let's say she has two kids. She got herself a little car and, you know, a little job. And so she is living her life. She's not necessarily in the club or whatever. You know, she might go out with her girlfriends every now and again. But she basically is going to work, trying to go to school, trying to do something for herself. Uh, like I said, she has her little place. She got her, you know, her uh, little car or whatever. And she does her thing. Okay, this sister will meet a guy in the hood, in the, just in the neighborhood, who is a nice guy, but he got some felonies, but he's been in jail, he's been in prison, he has uh, some strikes against him, and you men have to be honest, that is most black men just in the hood. For whatever reason, that's pretty much what you're going to find, a guy with, a, with some felonies. That's not to dog him. That's not to bring him down. That's just the reality that that, that is what you're going to find in the hood. So he can't get a job because he got felonies, okay? Uh, so he has no job. Uh, he He might have a car. I don't know. Nine times out of ten, he probably doesn't have his own place because he can't get a job. So he's probably living with family or living with his mom or whatever. Uh, very typically in the hood, he probably has more than one child by more than one woman. That's not the dog in, that's just being real, okay? Now, the mentality behind this man is when he sees this sister trying to, she's taking care of her two little kids and living her little life, their mentality, and I don't understand this, is help a brother out. Can I live with you? Can I drive your car? Can you, can, can you, can I live with you? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I got felonies. I can't get no job. I can't, you know. And so the woman is supposed to understand that. The woman, pretty much of any degree, if she's a black woman trying to do anything for herself, going to college, trying to make it uh, on her own with her own job, 
is supposed to be there for whatever black man in the community that might need a hand up. His idea is that you need to help a brother up, help a brother out, or you a stuck up bitch. Or you think you better than everybody. When, here's the hypocrisy of that. The hypocrisy part about that is that when you find a black man who is in school, who has a job, who is taking care of himself, has his vehicle, and have every, you know, all of his stuff together, never have I seen in my experience, and if it's different, let me know, never do you find that type of black man, whether he's rich or doesn't have anything, he's just a young black man just trying to make it on his own, just trying to do for himself. Never do you find him with a woman with more than two or three kids. He's just not going to date her. He wants better for himself. He is looking way over here and he's just not going to date Watermelon he, He's just not going to date her. So. You don't have him helping a sister out. You you just don't have him helping a sister out. She's working at McDonald's. She might be she might be a manager or something or just at Walmart. Anything where she has a job. But if he has any kind of potential about himself or want to get better, get out of the hood and everything, he is not going to go back down into the hood and help a sister out. That's just the bottom line. And so, like I said, the the hypocrisy is. The black man always wants the black woman to help a brother out, but you don't find the black man wanting to help a sister out. Usually, once a black man leaves or is able to get out of the community, he's not going to go back and, and, and get uh, 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 watermelon Isha. He's not going to go back and get her. But you'll have a sister who's working in a bank, I mean making good money, driving a nice car. And she is expected to be with Leroy, who has nothing, has no potential, no type of nothing that can do anything for her to help her. Or oh, she's going to bring herself down, but still, she a bitch if she don't have a brother out. And to me, that is straight hypocrisy because you don't look at women of, of other cultures and tell them to bring and lower their standards. No one ever says that. No one ever tells Becky, uh, unless she wants to, which a lot of times she does, but no one ever tells Becky that she needs to go to the hood and get a, a, a thug. But the black woman is supposed to stay where she is and get a man, even though he has no potential. Then when she does get him, when she does try to be there and help him out, she doesn't want anything for herself. She's a hood rat. It's hypocrisy. It is straight hypocrisy because if they don't date you, she'll be, if she do date you, she don't want nothing for herself. You know, nobody, as I said, nobody ever calls the, you know, you hear, you know, the black woman is ratchet, she loud, she go to the club, she drinks, she smokes, she do this, she got kids. You have women who live in trailer parks who have bunches of kids, who take drugs, who do meth who go to the club, who wear tight skimpy clothes. Hispanic women go to the club and wear tight skinny skimpy clothes and, 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 and drink and smoke and, and act ghetto and roll their neck and fight and all this kind of stuff. But nobody calls them ratchet hood rats. Nobody. Even though so many other women in other cultures emulate emulate the same stuff that ratchet black women do, twerking them then I hear somebody else say that the black woman just want to shake her ass. Okay, you can pull up thousands of videos of white girls, women, or whatever, shaking and twerking and trying to do the same thing that the black woman does. And once again, nobody calls her ratchet. Nobody calls her uh, uh, a hood rat. Nobody. But she's doing the same exact thing. And nobody calls her on that. A black man will accept that and take that and be proud to have her. But a sister can't do it because, oh, she ratchet if she do it. I don't understand that hypocrisy. I just really don't understand that hypocrisy. Um, man, I mean, this, this subject is so, I, I can really, really go on with this. Uh, as, you know, as far as all of the hypocrisy. 
Okay. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is stop this video and make a, another small part to it.